I have to move the camera now. Oh. Okay, the oh, that's me. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. A tripod kicker. Okay. Tripod kicker. All right now, you need to come over here to your right. Okay. Get back into your position. Okay. Okay. Right, I think we're there. Are we I think good? That's as good as it gets. That's as good as the camera's gonna get. I don't see us yet. Mm. I don't see anything on the library page yet. Oh, oh there we are. There we are. Oh, there's us yep, back in time. Now. It says live now, which means we were live 30 seconds. Ah, ago, what, what kind of bad things did we say? <laughs> <coughs> you coughed. No I coughed. coughed. I coughed into my elbow, though. It's springtime. There are allergies. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Ukulele Club with the Wood County District Public Library. I'm wearing my... I love library science t-shirt today. I'm Jason. Uh, I work at the library. I'm the catalog librarian, so uh, it's my job to make sure you can find things in our catalog. And uh, I am a member of the Grand Royale Ukulelists of the Black Swamp, along with my spouse Sherry and a couple of other friends. And here we are. Welcome to Ukulele Club. Are we going to start by playing bears, right? Right. Everywhere I look, there's bears. And the chords are in the comments? Uh, the chords were in the comments from last week. There's C, F, G, and C. If you know those basic chords, play along. If you don't know all of them, or if you're not certain, you can always play Z. It's just lay your hand gently over uh, the fretboard. already. Hey, welcome everybody. All right. I hope all is well. Oh, well. He's not well. No, that's, this is actually a private message. At least I sure hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> we're both, we're, if we've been, we've been quarantining at home. We just check. We, we are both wearing all our clothes, right? Because that's... Yes. I'm wearing my I Love Library Science t-shirt. In honor of the library. What are you wearing? Oh, I've got my Black Swamp Arts Festival shirt. Black Swamp Arts Festival. Hooray. We love our library. We love our arts festival. Yes, we do. Let's see. Oh. What are we doing? Okay. It's been, uh, it's been a super busy week for us, for Sherry and me, and um, some uh, other projects that we've been working on. Um, so keep looking, uh, keep watching for links to uh, additional material. We are going to put up some things like chord charts and some little uh, maybe written summaries of things we've been talking about during these meetings um, soon. 
Um, probably in the comments on this video post here on the library's Facebook page and also on our band's Facebook page, um, Grubbs Music on Facebook, and uh, also uh, on our band website, grubbsmusic.com. But uh, all that information, those URLs for those other sites will be in the comments here, above, below, or beside, wherever uh, your device happens to put them. Um, meanwhile, of course, you can download ebooks with your library card. Um, check out the eMedia page on the library website to find out more about um, accessing um, books and music and uh, all kinds of materials electronically um, through the library website with your library card. And if you don't have a library card yet, you can get a temporary one. Again, go to the library website and find out about that. Um, there's also, of course, for the ukulele, which is more popular than it's ever been. Um, the ukulele is amazingly popular, and it's really shocking how, how many people don't know how popular the ukulele is. I don't know how that works, but it's true. Um, there's all kinds of free tutorials all over the web, um, fingering charts and, and other kinds of information. So if you have some basic questions, feel free to ask us in the comments on this post. Feel free to uh, also um, look around uh, on the web. And as you progress, you can look forward, uh, you can dig deeper and find advanced chords and scales and strumming and plucking techniques. The ukulele is not just for beginners. It's a real musical instrument. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, most of those kinds of things you can do at your own pace. You can uh, try to find a private teacher. Um, or if you're adventurous and you have some musical experience, you can do a lot of things on your own with the ukulele. It's a pretty easy instrument to start with. But what we want to do in these sessions, once again, as we mentioned last week, is we want to share ideas about ukulele playing and maybe music making in general that are useful and fun for beginners and for non-beginners. Um, and we want to make some real music together, regardless of what our individual skill levels or experience might be. Uh, but the first thing you got to do is tune up. So let's start from the floor to our nose, because this is how the strings are numbered. I don't know who invented this system, I don't know why, but string number one is the one closest to the floor. This should be an A, 440 cycles per second. It should sound like this. So just make sure that your A matches this pretty well. It might sound like this. And if that's the case, turn the knob until it, it matches. And you might overshoot it. That's what I always do. Just turn it back down. We're making all the dogs and cats angry right now. Yeah. Also, a uh, pro tip, when you're tuning up, it really is best to tune up. That is, if your note is a little too high, Turn it down, turn the, turn the peg until it's too low. And raise it up to the right pitch. It will stay in tune better um, if you tighten it up to the right pitch rather than loosening it down to the right pitch. Just sort of basic mechanics behind that. So there's your A string, your string number one, closest to the floor. Here's your second string, the E. down to the floor, you get that tune that everybody says is called, My Dog Has Fleas. I don't know why people say that. I always used to think there was a song, but there wasn't. But there is now, because we wrote one. <laughs> With super clever, super, super clever lyrics. So, uh, am I going to start and you're going to play the chords? Um, sure. So... 
So here's a song that you can play. We're just going to demonstrate it at first, and then we're going to break down a couple of the, the components. My dog has fleas. My dog has fleas. So I'm just playing the open strings one at a time. My dog has fleas. My dog has fleas. My dog has fleas. My dog has fleas. Play along at home. My If you're a beginner and you know nothing about the ukulele, as long as you've tuned it up, you can play this part of this song. Just play each string one at a time, and you're playing My Dog Has Fleas. Now, if you have a partner who knows already some chords, they can play along C, C for a while, and then switch to F for a while, and then switch back to C for a while. Switch to G for a while, and then back to C. And now, if you if you uh, happen to remember the special C chord we talked about last week, or if you're one of those intermediate to advanced players who already knows C7, that's what this is: first finger, first fret, first string. You can play that instead of a C. And if you know F7, you can play that instead of the F. And if you know G7, you can play that instead of the G. Um, so that that gives you a lot of options for playing along um, with a friend with varying degrees of ability and experience. And if you're playing the chords, do anything you want with your right hand that you like. Big finish. Big finish. So I muddled a couple of them. I don't know my F7 as well as I wish I did. But you can always do that one finger, that one finger F chord we learned last week. First finger, first fret, second string. And it works fine as well. It's always good to remember that you have choices. And almost anything is going to sound good on a ukulele as long as you've tuned it up first. Um, wow. Are we ready for the D7? Yes, we are. Okay, so, um, so we talked about a couple of chords, a couple of one finger chords last week that, um, you may, if you weren't here last week, uh, you can still go and watch the archived video of last week's live stream where we talk about these one finger chords. We'll also be posting some additional information as I keep promising on our website and such. Today we're going to learn a couple of two-finger chords, by which I mean two fingers with your left hand on the fretboard. If you go to the second fret of the first string, and the second fret of the third string, whoops, I'm going to start with the other one. Start on the other end. Mm -hmm. Second fret on the fourth string, the one closest to your nose, so you should get this note. This is your open fourth string. This is with the second fret down. And then go to the second string and put your finger on the second fret. So this is the open second string. And this is with the second fret down. 
And now if you play all four strings at the same time, you get this lovely thing. This is known amongst ukulele players as the Hawaiian D7 chord. So if you have some experience with music theory, you might notice this chord doesn't even have a D in it, but that's okay. It still sounds like a D7 chord. Sherry, could you just play us a regular D chord? So that's a regular D. And here's a regular D7, the way people often play it. Whoops, except here's better. But the one we're playing, with just these two fingers, sounds very similar and it fits with either one of those others. And if two different instruments are playing together, it's often really cool if they're playing slightly different versions of the same thing anyway. So it's nice if one of those versions is easier than the other. So here's an easy D7 chord. You may recall that we played a song last week that only had one chord in it, Electric Avenue. We played it with a C7 with one finger. This week we're going to play it with a D7 with two fingers. So again, you could use your first two fingers or your second two fingers, whatever feels better for you. 2nd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, that's what it should sound like. Sherry, can you play me a D? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's nice to remember where the D is for sure when there's no D in the chord you're playing. So when you know a couple of different chords, it can help uh, in terms of finding the best place for your voice if you're singing and playing. Did you have anything that you wanted to add? So you might have noticed that sometimes I was playing Zeds, which you're always free to do. And sometimes I just picked one string. This happens to be a D. D, D. And I just went around until I found a note that I like and just play that. So often, there's no rule. Play what sounds pretty to you. I'm just a little bit curious if, if someone could, uh, sorry, th this is a, a, a side issue. If somebody uh, who is watching now could just let me know, especially if you, if you maybe if you started watching a little bit after two, um, I'm just sort of curious if the stream starts when you click on it, because what I just noticed is that I didn't I didn't click on the stream to start it until about ten minutes late, and it seems like it started from the beginning. So there's like a time lag of ten minutes Ooh. now in the version of this that I'm watching. Wow. Which is wild. That's weird. So yeah, I sort of had this idea that it was it was supposed to be live, like it would just like if you tune in, it's just happening. It's happening right now. You 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 missed the beginning, but apparently maybe not. Oh. Okay, sorry. They should have told us that in, in live streaming ukulele school, but they didn't tell us that. Yeah, no. Okay. We're, uh... 
Oh. We're a little bit more advanced ukulele playing than uh, than video uh, directing. Okay. So you just said something about Z and and chords and did I miss any of that? No, well, you're fine. Whatever I said, I'm the sure, thing that, was, I'm sure it was the, fine. The, the, <laughs> the thing that I wanted to be sure not to forget to say also is that, um, I, so a lot of people strum with the right thumb. You get a nice traditional kind of Hawaiian ukulele sound if you use the pad of your thumb. It, it hurts a little bit after a while, but eventually you build up calluses or whatever. But you don't have to do it very hard anyway. So if it hurts, just do it a little more gently and see if that helps. You'll still get a really nice sound. Some people use the, the nail on the index finger. Some people use the nail on the index finger and thumb and go back and forth. Um, and then another thing you can always do is actually pluck the strings with your these four fingers. So sometimes when I'm playing along, it's an all as a as a sort of compromise between playing strumming the chords like this, or just doing Z like this. The thing that I sometimes do is actually pluck the chord like this. So you get. Uh, maybe a surprisingly ri wide range of different ways of playing the uke, uh, resulting in a surprisingly wide range of different kinds of sound you can get out of it. Uh, are we ready for... G6? Yeah. Okay, so... Remember this chord that we, just, that we were just playing for a couple of minutes straight? The D7 chord, the Hawaiian D7 chord. We got the second fret on the fourth string, the second fret on the second string, and the other two strings open. So take those fingers and just move them over one string. And what you'll get is sort of a mirror image. It's the second fret on the other two strings. So the strings you had open before are now stopped at the second fret, and the strings you had stopped at the second fret before are now open. This also has a nice traditional Hawaiian ukulele relaxed kind of sound. This is a special kind of G chord. It's technically a G6 from a certain point of view because it has a the notes of a regular G chord and also the sixth note of the scale added to it. Between these two, if you just move these fingers back and forth, first and third string, second and fourth string, you can play a lot of songs with those two chords, and they'll have a nice Hawaiian sound to them, especially if you play them kind of a relaxed, swingy way. So my advice to you is to look, look where Jason is looking, he's not looking at his hands, right? So when you get to change, when it's time to change, don't do this. Don't stretch your ankle. Switching now. Just take your whole hand shape and move it. Just keep the distance between Moving your fingers down. the same. Just you're just shifting these two fingers between the position. They don't move in relationship to each other. The fingers, your fingers are like fork ties. Switch. Hard, you hardly feel anything. 
And if you're not pressing hard enough, you'll notice the ukulele will make it a bad sound. Or as bad a sound as the ukulele knows how to make. But as long as the uke is making a good sound, you, you're probably pressing harder than you need to. Remember what we're doing? This is the G6 2nd fret on the 1st and 3rd strings. Now switch to the other two strings. And that's a, the Hawaiian D7. Again, that you can do playing the ukulele by yourself is fantastic. Everything you do, like Sherry always says, almost anything you do on a ukulele sounds beautiful. If you hit a sour note, sometimes it's not even really that. It's hard to find a sour <laughs> note on a ukulele. Yeah. Here's here's my best here's my best sour note that I can find easily. But even that, if it's the end of a James Bond movie, it sounds right. So even the sour notes in the right context sometimes sound great, as long as the thing is tuned up. Um, but so, uh, if you have a friend to play along with, or if you have a recording of... If you want to go back and uh, play along with us again, listen to this recording after the live stream is done. We were just doing this for a couple of minutes, and you could play along with that and just find, like Sherry said, find notes that are in the chord. Find notes that aren't in the chord. Find what, what sounds good to you at any given moment, and you're off. That's that's music, man. That's music. Wow. Wow. Okay, now, now that we've done this, believe it or not, we can play three chord songs. Oh, it's almost 2-3. We can actually play three chord songs now that we know these two chords. So we've got your G6. And we've got the D7. Now if you just take your if you just take your left hand away from the frets. This is a C6 chord. This this chord with all open strings. It can uh, be interpreted as an A minor 7 in some contexts or a C6 in other contexts. If you think of it as a C6, then we've got a G chord. We've got a C chord. 
kind of C chord and a kind of D chord. So there's a lot of three chord songs that you can play with these. Now, not every three chord song is going to sound right with these exact versions of the chords, but try things out and see what works and what doesn't. So one thing we can do uh, is Lean On Me, which we sang last week in the key of F with a couple of different chords. We can do Lean On Me if we start on G. So, uh, second fret, first and third strings. Sometimes in our lives... Now take your hand away. We all have pain. Put it back. And now move it over a string. We all have sorrow. That's your D7 with the uh, second and fourth strings. Now back to G. But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. I'm going to get my... It's a little more islandy. A little more, a little more mournful if you're not feeling quite happy. Bittersweet, maybe. Vampin' on G, here we go. Sounds. Uh, no, I'm gonna. S try this speed. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise, It's after 2.30, okay, so if there are uh, questions in the comment stream, we'll try to respond to some of those. If you have questions now, uh, feel free to type them up. Um, we can maybe answer some of them now as, as we hang out for a few more minutes, or we can maybe ask, answer them later. Um, just watch the comments on this post for the next little while, and we might have some answers coming back to you. And... Uh, We'll be back here again next week at the same time. So your homework is just to take your ukulele and do whatever you want with it. Spend time with it. Play with it. Um, and the things to remember, again, are if your fingers hurt, you're squeezing too tight. If your wrists hurt, it's because you're doing this. Don't, don't, don't do that. Um, ukulele is supposed to be a relaxing, calm instrument. So again... Um, your best your best option is not to turn the ukulele. You can crank your head down if you want to, but I don't recommend that either. Just use your use your you're using your fingers anyway on the fretboard. You might as well use them for sensing devices as well as devices to press the strings with.
So I'm only seeing six comments right now, and that's either okay. because there weren't very many comments or because I'm ten Behind. minutes late yeah, on the okay. comments. I'm not quite sure which right. it is right now. So I'm going to refresh the page and see what happens. Meanwhile, if you've got anything else, that any any wisdom you want to convey, oh, well, we, we're, st okay. we're still live. So. We're still okay. So, um, and the other thing about ukuleles is you can just sing your day. You know, it's April and it's great. I just want to say it's April and it's great. I think about it with great dismay. It's April, it's April and it's great. The dumber the song, the better. Right? April and it's great. I don't, I don't like it a bit. It makes me want to Outside and spit. Oh no, it's April and it's green. I wish we'd stop the stream. Cause this song is not my dream. Something that rhymes with sunbeam. Oh no, it's April and it's green. It's April and it's green. lovely yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so i it just dawned on me because i'm so clever um i just asked in the form of a comment on the facebook post if anybody who's still there could add a comment now and then we'll see if it if it shows uh -huh. up right now or not kate says working <laughs> but i don't know what that means <laughs> okay, well... I think that means it's working and we're fine. They just don't have things to say. I guess so. Yeah, nobody needs to... Nobody, no pressure. Nobody needs to have anything to say. All right, everybody, so thank you. I think we're good, right? Thanks for joining us. We'll be yeah. back next week. See ya. Have fun. In the fun. sunshine. But it's really April and it'll be sunny. And here I am lunging in toward the camera because right. I'm having trouble finding the button. Uh, there's the button.